When the fish are biting and you need to know when, where, and how to catch them, well, you've come to the right place. North Carolina Saltwater Weekly, where we talk fishing. And now, from the beautiful beaches of southeastern North Carolina, please welcome your host and mine, Captain Cook. Well, hey guys, Captain Cook here. So glad you could join me. Today we're going to be looking at fishing glasses, polarized fishing glasses, or you can use them for anything, kayaking, riding your bike, running, whatever. But they're polarized, and what that means is it takes the glare off of whatever you're doing, fishing, biking, running, whatever it is. So we're going to take a look at three today, and these are three brands that are really on the cheap. They are not your hundred dollar uh glasses that you can get you know they're they're not oakley's but they they do perform well and i have tested all of them so we're going to take a look at them first we have the extremis then we have the cast king and we have the fishaholic now we'll take a look at each one of these and we'll start out with we'll start out with the cast king. They all come in a nice case, hardened case, and they all come with this nice I guess you call it a satin sleeve or you know that they're in. And uh, take a look at this one. This is very nice, as you can see. These are very nice. Um, the polarization on these is what we'll be talking about, you know, the polarization and different things about them. But the polarization on these is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, this is a full frame glass. And this one is the Cast King Skidaway. Who knows why they came up with that name, but this is the Cast King Skidaway. Uh, one thing about this one, when I bought it, um, I was going to try this color, this amber, this amber lens, but I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this uh, is not particularly a dark lens. As you can see, you can see my hand pretty good through. It's not a dark lens. So I would really say this particular pair of glasses is good for dawn and dusk you know early morning late evening when you're getting to that point where you're ready to just really take your glasses off because that glare is really gone i think this is more or less what these would be good for uh, not a real dark glass not a real dark glass and I, w I would say not one good for spending the whole day out you know and then you may say well I don't want to take a couple pair of glasses with me. Well, you're not going to find one pair that's going to do everything unless you get some type of of uh, transition, you know, that'll go light and dark, and I just don't see doing that. <clears throat> so the reason we're doing this video is, is getting a good pair of polarized glasses, fairly inexpensive, you know, on a budget. That's why we're doing it. So these are very nice glasses. I love the color. They fit very well. They fit very well. Uh, they're they're pretty light. This one comes in at 24 grams, so it's not heavy. Not heavy at all. That's uh, like three quarters of an ounce, maybe. So not bad. Not bad. So we'll set this one over to the side. We'll check out the next one. Now the next one we're going to look at is the fishaholic fishaholic again it comes in a nice hardened case again in a nice pouch uh, like a satin pouch you can actually use this to, to clean the lens and we'll pull this one out there you go I opted on the blue the blue lens for this one, open it up and see. This one is a little darker, 
it's hard to tell from this light going through it but this one is a uh, matter of fact it's a lot darker it has the wide brim on the side it kind of keeps that light out from going you know from the side view your peripheral and uh i like these glasses i do i do the polarization on these is fairly well works pretty good works pretty good i've fished with uh this this pair of glasses on for a few times and i do like the blue color i am a big fan of the the blue mirrored color these glasses come in at a weight of 26 grams so not that heavy you, you're not quite an ounce you know ounces of course 28 grams but you're not quite an ounce so they're not heavy either they're not heavy at all uh, what i think of these these are they're pretty good the polarization is good on them very good very good they wear very well they're comfortable they don't squeeze your head they have a lot of flexibility with them and they do pretty good so yes this is a I, I like this one. I do. I've been fishing with this one quite a bit. Next one we're going to look at is uh, the Extremis. That's what that is, the Extremis. Again, comes in a nice case. Unzip it. Comes in a nice pouch. Again, you can use this to clean with. I guess it's a, a kind of a satin and there they go now one thing about these are there are no frames so you have your arms but there's no frame and this makes this glass uh this pair of glasses very light this one comes in at 20 grams so it's lighter than the others and you, you really don't think you could real you know feel that you know, it weighing 20 grams, the heaviest weighing 26 grams, that you can feel that. You, you can. You can tell that. One thing about these, they are very flexible. See how flexible they are. They're very flexible. And out of these three, this one actually has the best polarization of all three of them. This is a darker lens. This is one that's made for, you know, dead of the day fishing it's a very darker lens it's a dark lens very light very flexible and if you guys know what i mean by when you're wearing glasses all day all day long and then getting toward the end of, end of the day it feels like it's, it's squeezing your brain out of your nose these are very light and very flexible they don't do that along with the the Fishaholics, same way. You know, all three of these glasses all are very comfortable, very comfortable. But when I would have to say what has the best, not necessarily the best feel, or you know what has the best polarization, I'm going to have to say it's the Extremis. Now, price point on these. We'll start over here. This is the Cast King. Cast King is going to run you twenty-five dollars. They have a diff different, uh, a few different options you can pick from. From what I've got here. Next, we have the Fishaholic. This one's going to run you about twenty-eight dollars. And also, they have a few options to choose from. Right now, the only one I could see was you know the the blue lens. And then you have the Extremis. This one's going to run you about eighteen dollars. Another thing we got to look at is, well, how good do they make you look? Right? How fashionable are they? How good they make you look? And we all know we like to wear stuff that looks makes us look good. You know, like back in the eighties. Um, you guys that remember that time that were. You know, when uh, Don Henley came out with the song, Boys of Summer, you know, and he's wearing the Wayfarers, well, everybody had to pair, had to have a pair of Wayfarers, uh, uh, including myself. And, man, I bought a pair of Wayfarers. I, I saved up, you know, I was 
working in a fast food restaurant and saved my money up and bought me a pair of Wayfarers, man, I don't know if I made them look good or they made me look good. But it's all about, you know, do they look good on you? Are you satisfied with them? When you look in the mirror, are you happy with them? But you also have to look at the side of do they do they do what I bought them for? Is the polarization good? Is it taking that glare off the water? You know, these are a tool. These are a tool. And you don't have to, you know, if you're not a fisherman, that's fine too. These are good for whatever you're doing, kayaking, running, uh, skiing, whatever it is. But my main objective was getting these for fishing because that's what I do. So if I had to pick one over the other, as far as the polarization goes, I definitely have to go with the extremists. The polarization on these are great. They're lightweight. And they feel good. There's no pressure. They're so flexible. And some people may look at that flexibility as being cheap. Well, no. As long as I'm comfortable in them, I don't care if they cost a dollar. Right? So when it comes down to it, I would I would probably pick, as far as polarization goes, the extremist, the fishaholic, then the cast king. And these are all comfortable glasses. And uh, I'm satisfied with all of them, but there is a place for each one of them. You know, like the cast king, low light situations. Uh, the fishaholic is an all around good glass. It's all around. All around a good set of uh, polarized glasses. And the extremists, very light. Uh, you don't even feel like you have them on. So uh, these are all three very good, very good pairs of fishing glasses and whatever else you need them for. So what I'm going to do in the description box below, I will drop a link to each one of these. You can get these on Amazon. You guys go check them out. Take a look at them. If you want to buy a pair, by all means do. But uh, I, I take my, my fishing glasses very seriously and always have my whole life. I don't let people try my glasses on. I don't let kids be touching my glasses and trying them on. You know, these glasses are my windshield. And if you look at the windshield of my vehicle, my windshield is always clean. Always clean. That's just this thing I have, you know, OCD, I guess it is. And when I wear these glasses, they are my windshield to the world. And I like to see everything like it is. I don't want to blur a speck in my eyesight because I cherish my eyesight. So guys, please go check them out. Um, any one of them are, uh, will be a great pair of polarized glasses. And if you guys have never worn polarized glasses, try them out. It's totally different. Now, some things don't look as, you know, you look at your smartphone or LCD screens and, and stuff like that. It's, it's not going to look the same. That's not what these are made for. These are made to take the glare off. This is exactly what they do. They take the glare out of anything you're doing. And it doesn't necessarily mean I can see underwater, but it takes that glare off the surface to where you have a, a little more visibility of what's going on beneath the surface. So guys, please go check them out. Like I said, I'll drop a link in the description box below to each pair of these glasses. You guys go check them out. I thank you so much for joining me. This is Captain Cook with NC's Saltwater Weekly. We'll definitely catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Well, that's going to about wrap up another week of North Carolina Saltwater Weekly. Be sure and tune back in with us where we can keep you informed on the best places to cast, catch, and fish right here in beautiful southeastern North Carolina.